Hi. So apparently I just picked up an $8,000 organ off of the curb. The few seconds before I realized you meant the instrument were terrifying. Jugglers are the worst. I've never met a juggler who doesn't tell me about their juggling three sentences into our conversation. Have you, have you ever met a juggler? Trust me, they let you know. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, I juggle in my free time, yet I don't mention it every three words. You just did! Rereading my own writing is just a constant fluctuation between damn girl, you wrote this? And damn girl, you wrote this? I'm such a fan of calling two guys trying to kill each other their divorce arc. Ah, Stanley and the narrator. Call me Super Mario the way I'd be laying down pipe it wasn't for all these turtles attacking me. 80s Shredder in the retirement home flirting with Krang. Normalize posting bad art. Normalize knowing your art isn't up to your standards but putting it out there anyway. Not everything has to be perfect. Seeing someone improve is really cool. Go ahead, post that drawing you hate. Boost someone's bad doodles. Encourage people to draw more instead of making them feel less worthy because their art isn't always perfect. I mean, it's never stopped the Butch Hartman. The most embarrassing thing in my life is whenever I see people and they ask what I've been up to. Literally nothing ever. I'm like, oh, you know, this, that, usual. Other sentences people say when they have nothing else going on in their lives. <laughs> hey, I love the uh, blood dripping from your face and the animal rage in your eyes. So, um, what's your pronouns? I have a bad habit of calling things loathsome if they mildly inconvenience me, which usually isn't that bad. But today I spilled my drink and said, loathsome juice under my breath without realizing that's not a normal thing to say. Everyone started laughing. Loathsome juice. Okay, not to get serious about a meme, but Morbius should have been a comedy. The idea of vampirism being the only way to cure a chronic illness is extremely funny. Imagine being in a support group with this goth guy and one day he's like, um, hi guys, uh, I'm not going to be able to come to the meetings anymore. And you're like, oh, why not Morbius? And he, sorry, I, ju I just can't finish this. I wrote the word Morbius one too many times and I started laughing too hard to continue. <laughs> I don't like the implication that his name was Morbius before he became a vampire. Oh my sweet summer child, I hate to tell you this, but his legal name in the movie is Dr. Michael Morbius. Proof that most of the people memeing on Morbius haven't actually seen the movie. Hmm. I don't think we as a fandom talk enough about how John was kidnapped and aggressively moisturized by a clown for like a month. The fuck's been happening in Garfield comics? Me listening to my own playlist. Oh my god, that's crazy. I love this song. I love pitting classically trained magic users against self-taught magic users in sci-fi and fantasy. But it shouldn't be snobbish disdain for them. It should be terror. Who taught you lightning before basic telekinesis? I'm losing my mind. What do you mean you just did it? What do you mean you cast with your bare hands? Hey, <laughs> Jedi lightning go burr. In the canon of action movies, do you think the protagonist comes up with one-liners on the spot and rides the high of doing that for like a week? Or do they come up with it like a year beforehand, remember it, and then get so excited when a villain shows up so they can use it? The protagonist and the villain plan their epic speeches together the night before everything goes to shit so they both look badass. Ah, you, 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 you get it. I cast spell that makes you get out of the bed too fast and get dizzy. Pocky show, that's just iron deficiency. I cast spell to give you iron deficiency. I love the trope where an authoritative side character pointingly pretends not to help the hero they're supposed to be helping by saying shit like, Well, I can't let you just wander up to the third floor where you could just find the thing you need in the first room on the left, and under no circumstances should you use the key from under the mat. I wish I could help you, but I can't. Now, excuse me, I need to take this phone call for the next 37 minutes exactly. Ah, my favorite shit. Yes, I am full of love, but also insurmountable rage! Oh, shitty more.